Hello all, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another video. And this is the ninth video of this tutorial series called Windows Server 2016. Hey everyone, if you are new in this channel, so this is my channel Tech with Pri and I post tech videos in every Monday and Thursday. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed the channel, just go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. All right. So before starting the video, guys, so if you are interested to buy the equipment that I use, so you can go ahead and check it out. So I have also posted the link here. So this is the mic I use from Boya and this is the tripod from Proton. OK, so the link is there in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. All right. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of DHCP or the dynamic host configuration protocol. All right, so we have seen how DHCP works, what are DHCP scope and the DHCP lease. So guys, if you missed my last video, go ahead and uh, find the link in the description I have already provided. And also you can find the link uh, here in your screen. Also, we have seen how DHCP works in our router. OK, and now like I think you already have changed your DHCP settings to test or do something. So let's see what we are going to learn today. First, we'll configure DHCP server in our Windows Server 2016. So guys, the concept is clear about DHCP in the last video. So in this video, we'll configure our own DHCP servers in our uh, Windows Server 2016. Next, we'll create a virtual machine for client PC. All right. Uh, we'll install the Windows 10 operating system in it because that is the latest one. And we'll join the client PC to our domain that is techwithpre.com. And guys, we'll see how DHCP is working over there. Okay, guys, make sure you watch the full video to understand this. Okay, so guys, I'm back in my Windows Server 2016. And uh, here it is the server manager. So before configuring DHCP, let's do some change in our uh, network settings. As you remember, when we have installed the DNS configuration role in our server and we have configured the, our own DNS server, so we haven't changed the DNS server's IP to our IPv4 settings in our network control, network adapter, right? So let's change it first before configuring the DHCP. So I'll go to the change adapter settings. And here, as you can see, our domain is showing techwithpre.com. And under Internet Protocol version 4, I'll go to Properties. So as you can see, the preferred DNS server is showing 127.0.0.1. So we'll change it and we'll do like 10.0.5.10. So that's the IP address of our server and our domain controller. And also we have installed the DNS role here. So the DNS uh, server's IP address would be the same. So that's why we are giving the IP address 10.0.5.10. So guys, if you have any confusion, I will just suggest you just go back and watch the DNS video full so you will understand that. Now, let's quickly install the DHCP role. So I'm going to click on Manage, Add Roles and Features. Next, Role-Based Features-Based Installation to our Domain Tech with Pre. And here I'm going to choose the DHCP server. And these are the default features. I'm going to click on Add Features. Next. 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 I'm going to hit on Install. OK, so the installation has been done. I'm going to click on Close. And here I have a notification. And that is saying the complete the DHCP configuration. So there are some post deployment configuration. So here I'm going to simply create on next. So here uh, it is asking for the authorization. So it is already selected as the administrator. So it's fine. I'm going to hit on commit. And it's done. So the DHCP installation has been done, guys. So let's open our newly created DHCP uh, control panel. So let me open uh, in big font. Yeah. So this is our domain name, techwithpre.com. And as you can see, we have IPv4 and IPv6. So let's create on IPv4 because we are not working on IPv6. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a new scope. 
so already guys the scope uh, you understood this definition of scope what is gate cp scope in the last video so i'm gonna not discuss here further so let's give it a name so i'm gonna give it as uh, scope uh, one that, that would be fine next so now it is asking for the uh, scope range okay so let's start 10 dot 0 dot and our ip address is 10 dot 0 dot 5 dot 10 so uh, okay 5 dot let's start from 15 and uh, let's end 10 dot 0 dot 5 dot like uh, okay 90 so this is nothing but we are setting our dhcp scope or range so that the new whenever the new machine will come and so they will get the ip address between this range only all right so click on next and subnet max length is fine so it is asking for any uh, ip address from that range that i want to exclude so but it is fine for me so i'm gonna hit on next so now it is asking for the least duration so guys again the least duration has been discussed in the previous video already so the default is eight here so i'm gonna choose eight days fine i want to configure the dhcp yes next so this would ask you for the default gateway 10.0.5.1 i'm gonna click on add next this is already showing uh, our server's ip address that is 10.0.5.10 and the parent domain is take with pre.com that's fine next okay so it is asking for win server so we do not have any win server so that was quite old so i'm going to click on next yes i want to activate the scope now next let's click on finish so our dhcp configuration has successfully done now if i can go to scope one that that i've created so this is the address pool as you can see the starting address is 10.0.5.15 to 10.0.5.90 and address lease so whenever a new machine will get an ip address so the lease list will increase all right okay so now the most important thing we are going to create a virtual machine and we'll install the windows 10 operating system in it and don't worry i'm going to put the link to download windows 10 so uh, you can install it in your virtual machine and then we'll connect this to our domain okay so guys again the virtual machine creation and the installing uh, the operating system part has already been done in my previous videos like in virtualization or virtual machine videos so i'm gonna put the link there so if you have any confusion you can go and see that all right so i'm gonna create a virtual machine quickly i'm gonna install the windows 10 and we'll get back okay guys so i'm back and now our windows 10 client pc is ready so guys the installation procedure was pretty simple like i think you already have installed windows 10 in your normal pc so it is pretty simple again like if you want to like check how the installation was done you can find it on google or also you can check my previous video where i have installed the windows server 2016. so just one point whenever you will install the product make sure you are installing the windows 10 pro version and uh, the another thing is like whenever it will ask for a key okay to uh, for windows 10 just choose that i do not have a key option all right and rest of them will be like simple installation procedure okay now we are back in our pc and uh, this is as you can see a simple client pc guys but one thing we need to do as you already know the network we have to change the network is default is nat but we have to choose the nat network so i'm gonna click on network here and from the drop down i'm gonna choose the nat network and our server network so that was our network right guys so we have already configured it so okay so now it is under the server network and if i can go like my windows server 2016 it is also under the server network so make sure the two network are in the same and then only we would be able to join our machine all right so now let's go to the client pc here so after maybe a minute or two you will get a pop-up here to it will ask you to connect to take with pre.com that's our domain so if i go here as you can see it is now connected to take with pre.com so it has automatically taken the connection and the dhcp has already assigned the ip address so let's check it go to the cmd ip config 
See, it is under techwithpre.com and the new IP address is 10.0.5.15. Okay, now if I search for IP config slash all, you'd be able to see all the details like the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. See, the DHCP server address is the same as our DHCP server, that is 10.0.5.10. And if we check the DNS server, this is also same like 10.0.5.10. So guys, the DHCP has already assigned the new IP address here. Now let's quickly uh, move to the server machine. So from here, I'm going to go to the DHCP and I'm going to hit refresh. Now, as you can see, we have our desktop is here. So under address list, it is 10.0.5.15. This is our desktop. So it is using the address pool where we have mentioned the start ip 10.0.5.15 to 10.0.5.90 okay so it is using it that's good so now the final thing is remaining let's connect it uh, to our domain so for that i'm gonna go to the com my computer so i'm gonna go to this pc right click properties okay from here i'm gonna click on change settings now uh, from here change now as you can see our computer name is this uh, big thing so let's change it to client uh, client pc and uh, from work group let's change to domain and type our domain name techwithpre.com so guys this machine is going to part of our techwithpre.com domain okay so that's a great moment for us. Okay, so I can't give the client a space PC. So let's omit the space. Click on OK. So now it will ask for the administrative credential for techwithpre.com. So the pop-up is appearing. So the username is administrator. So this is the same username and password uh, that you used to log in for Windows Server. Okay. So administrator and password will be the password that I've given. Click on OK. You'll get a pop-up that will confirm you're part of the techwithpre.com domain. <clears throat> See, welcome to the techwithpre.com domain. Okay, now the machine will restart. And let's see whether it is part of the techwithpre.com or not. Okay, now it has been restarted. So before checking it, uh, I'm going to show you something. So I hope you remember whenever we have choose the our network, uh, that is server network. So make sure whenever you are using the client machine before, like before creating the client virtual machine, you go to the settings and make sure you uncheck the support DHCP option. Why? Because this support DHCP option or the D or this DHCP function is automatically enabled in the virtual box, okay? So like whenever you will create a new machine, it will give you an IP address. That's the work of DHCP. But we want our DHCP server that we have configured just few minutes back in our Windows server. So that DHCP server should provide the IP address to our client machine, not the virtual box DHCP server. So that's why you should uncheck this, okay? So that's the thing. So now let's open it. Okay, now go to the again, uh, this PC properties. And now you can see the computer name is client PC and the full computer name is client PC dot tech with pre dot com. So this client PC is the part of the domain called tech with pre dot com. So guys, this is it for today. So you have seen how we have configured the DHCP server, our own DHCP server. We have set the scope least time. We have created our virtual machine, Windows 10. So we have connected this client PC to our domain techwithpre.com. Now we can control this machine from our techwithpre.com. So in further videos, we'll see how we'll do it. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any question, come to the comment section. And please, please share with your friends and family so that it can reach out uh, to many people. All right. Thank you. Stay safe and bye-bye. Thank you.